Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's me, Sean Tanktop, over here. I'm chilling out over here at Casa de Tanktop. I got myself the Draces up there. How you doing, Draces? What's going on up there? Hey, the weather's fine up, up here. <laughs> that would be hey. like... <laughs> oh, there you go. And then you're like, oh, my God. Then you're like Hakalug or something like oh, that. Oh, nothing without the Rona. That's the fucking, well, that's like the big bro, that's like the dickhead big brother, like, kind of move in me, like, thinking, like, you know, where and when can a loogie be applied? But anyway, we are over here, um, we are sheltered in place and stuff like that, we're trying to keep it down, but, um, and one of the few things that, you know, we can do while we're stuck at home, because, you know, we're bar industry people, and we recently had to go back, like, we had to come, we, 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 we were back at work for a little bit, and then we had to, we had to basically reclose up and stuff, but, um, a big thing that we've been doing lately is, is hanging out and just, like, hanging out watching TV shows and stuff like that, we've been doing a bunch of that stuff I like got, we've had the, the Last Dance reactions, which have been doing really well, um, we've had the Avatar reactions, which are, which has been a fucking ton of fun, we're gonna be doing a bunch of other shows this coming kind of fall autumn season going into and one of the first ones that's coming up is this fucking shit called lovecraft country lovecraft country it's a it's a show on hbo um it's produced i believe by jordan peele right it's a jordan peele i believe so yeah, yeah. production i think um and this shit has got me pretty excited. What are you guys thinking about it? Man, I, I mean, I just wish it wasn't on HBO because they just have such a crappy track record of just terrible <laughs> shows. I mean, like, I just can't think of any shows that HBO has ever done that I've loved. Watchmen this... hated it. Yeah, yeah. Watchmen. Yeah, Game Watchmen of was terrible. The worst. Like, the Wire. Euphoria sucks. The like, is terrible. Dumbest. Yeah, awful. So I've been very intrigued by it, and they released themselves the second trailer for this thing this thing is coming out i believe in early august and we're going to be doing week to week by god week to week How reaction damn. series for this shit um and we hope that you guys will join us through that but we figured we'd give it we figured we would take a look at this new full-length trailer that we got for this guy you guys want to check it out I'm pumped. Yeah. let's do it two three go oh drop. what's that book you've been reading about It's about heroes who get to go on adventures, defeat the monsters, uh -oh. and save the day. Little boy from the south side of Chicago, the only tourist to get to do that. Oh shit. I was about to say that that underpass looks like Chicago. Be that's right. awesome. Our story is about my father and the secret birthright that's been kept from us. You going after it. We're going to need a car. He's going to stand there, Tick. This is Ooh. family business. And family stay together. That gal from Birds of Prey, isn't it? Yeah. Gal? yeah. Just because they don't want you here doesn't mean you're not supposed to be. You gotta get away. This is uh, oh, this yeah. to unmitigated yeah. power. Where in the hell did I go wrong with you, boy? I told you to stay away from that damn place. There's something here. Trying to get out. Everything is where and as it should be. From God to man. Why? To oh, spooky. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. What? I'm in. 
But I'm gonna need Holy to watch that shit. 25 more times and like pause. Yeah, it I don't know. And yeah, like I'm like, what? What? Who? What's what? Going what? On? What? what? Yeah. No, no. I mean, uh, like, well, well, I mean, like, I'll say. I mean, like, yeah. There was. A, I'm sure there was a bunch of other things that was like, you know, we could be like, oh, that's from that story. That's from this thing. But the big, the big thing was was fucking Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? We all just looked at him, so now we're all insane. Yep. So. <laughs> yeah, now we're all crazy, Ooh. right? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh well. I mean, you know what? Honestly, Rona like has been doing a pretty good job of pushing us there. Of like a like an online HBO Cthulhu would probably fucking be just what just bring it, it on. Little thing. Just yeah, bring right. it on. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh no, no. Wait. Well, either that or because of Rona, we're like get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. Like I fucking I like I I, I drank like a, a bottle of whiskey last night and I saw a jackrabbit with a woman's face last night. I don't give a <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Like. It doesn't <laughs> like that's a Pat Oswalt bit, by the way. But like, but <laughs> shout out to shout out to Patton. But yeah, like I mean, like we've been, we've been through like the the Willem Dafoe ness of it all. Like you know what I mean. So like I, maybe it's not gonna bring it like, on. We can handle it. We yeah. can handle it. You know what I mean. But I tell you what, I'm ready to handle it. That looked really fucking cool. That was gorgeous. That was like like I because I had seen the first trailer. First trailer was good, spooky, atmospheric, or whatever. But that one like kicked it up a notch yeah you know what i mean like it was definitely not in the same way because we did a reaction to the, another jordan peele produced thing the can, uh candy man remake or candy man yeah. reboot or soft reboot or whatever and that puppeteer thing it kind of like <gasps> very awesome and it very clearly like announced that it was going to be getting into some really kind of you know pretty like deep and um, an interesting kind of like thematic material insofar as like racism and stuff like this. I mean, the fact that this is set in like it looks like the 40s or the 50s or something, yeah, or maybe even earlier, um, speaks to that as well, which I'm excited about. I like shows that don't like aren't fucking, you know, like keep your fucking politics out of fucking shit. It's like no, no, no. We're, we, sometimes there's some things that you have to address, and this yeah. looks like it looks like a show that's going to do that, but it also looks. It looks scary. It looks spooky. Looks great. It looks yeah. It like, looks like you know, dense. Like this is going to be one of those. Like we we may have to get our, our, our friend uh, Kyle on to give us some like inside oh. like you know detective <laughs> yeah. work on this because Kyle man, from fan, Kyle from Fandom Media shout out to Fandom Media over there with it, I know. I'm just gonna be on like so my old job that went out of business. Um, mm. so the, the first job that went out of business. The first job the, that went out of business. <laughs> oh, it's been God. a rough year. Pre, pre Rona. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because like I, I, I never shut up about this, but like they actually filmed this in the alleyway around mm -hmm. the corner from Hollywood Mirror, but, uh, used clothing store. So they yeah. actually bought like yeah. five thousand dollars of clothing from. So I'm gonna be on like a total like. Oh wow, that that that's shirt? interesting. Is that that yeah. shirt? Oh my god, is that I know that blouse? That shirt. Is that that skirt? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that totally. Fucking shirt does not stay on the hanger. I pick it up off the floor like 20 yeah. times a day because <laughs> I was just kind of like lived there so much that I really knew. All you worked the there for 10 years, so yeah. you, you knew yeah. all the pieces of, of clothing. I know that were a lot of it. Yeah. yeah, but also it was like right that little alley where like the L and L is, and I'm like, it's a yeah. spooky bar, and they like painted a window to the business next to it. Nice. For the set. So I think right. I'm going to have to keep my eyes out. Like, where's the L&L? Yeah. Where's the totally. fake yeah, business yeah, yeah. that they painted? Ooh, that, so that's what, because you had, you had kind of like a, kind of a, not a bird's eye view, but you had like, you had like a little bit of a behind the scenes thing. And, yeah, and there's a bunch see... of hall, like visual hallmarks that you know, Morgan. Maybe that means because they also shot a bunch, like almost, a, almost all of the exterior stuff of the new Fargo, of the first season of Fargo that's coming mm. out. Maybe we get your kind of like HBO Lovecraft Morgan magical mystery tour of just like, oh, I recognize that or whatever. We do a little bit of that with with, with Lovecraft Country. And then when Fargo drops, we do that with ah. with me when we do that. Because I would love to do, I would love to, I would love to do a reaction spot to Fargo. I love that fucking, yeah. I, I really do. You know, if, if we weren't living in the Corona times, I'd say we could take a camera and go out and like go like, show a side by side of yeah like, is... oh my oh, god no, it's right? like uh uh on cinema at the cinema uh <laughs> get greg turkington just has the camera like up up his nose and yeah he, right and it's just like a parking lot and he's like this parking lot was used in the filming right <laughs> Angels in Jimmy the Jimmy stewart took a shit in the back alley over here or something like that and it's it's like, like, you know, so, yeah totally uh, there's something like that but anyway i i gotta say like all of those this is ticking 
a lot of boxes. I really like the. I mean, yeah. I mean, like you, you say anything with Michael K. Williams, and I'm interested. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you say anything. Oh my. Um, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw mean, him absolutely. and I'm like, okay. All right. I mean, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I think this might be one of those shows where we need to do like um, a watch and then a rewatch. I don't. I don't know if we can yeah. do like a first run, like talking walk. You know, walking. No, no, no. I mean, like, I think, I think vibe. maybe we. I think just maybe like a straight reaction. You know, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I think it'll be different. You know, what I mean, I think different shows kind of a lot for different types of kind yeah. of like performances and stuff like that. It looks dense, and so I think that there's gonna be a variety, and that's what uh, HBO's like pretty fucking good at putting shit like that together mm-hmm. you know what i mean like as far as that type of like if they can fucking do half if they can be half oh, as, yeah. as like as good as Watchmen, it'll be a fucking totally worthwhile show you know what i mean yeah. so mm-hmm. i don't know i'm super stoked on it i'm super ready um well anyway we hope that you guys will join us when we start doing the week to week reactions to lovecraft country that is something that we're going to be on this channel so please we hope you, we hope that you guys join us for that but in the meantime, check out all of our other content and stuff like that. If you want to, consider giving us a little bit of support on patreon.com slash on tanktop. You get a lot of fucking content for just a little bit of money. You get full movie commentaries. You get full uncut reactions. You get movie watch along parties. You really hope that you guys go on over and give us a little bit of support on patreon.com slash on tanktop. We appreciate you guys stepping by, and we will talk to you motherfuckers later. Okay. <laughs>